In this video, we will learn about the imposition of per unit tax in Monopoly. The question is, let the inverse demand function be P is equal to 20 minus Q, where P is the price and Q denotes the output produced. What is the optimal output of the monopolist if the marginal cost is $3 and government imposes a per unit tax of $1 per unit? The options are 9.5, 8.5, 8 or 9, okay? Now what we are being given here, we are being given the inverse demand function that is P is equal to 20 minus Q, okay? Marginal cost before the imposition of tax is being given as is rupees $3, okay? Let us see the equilibrium before the imposition of tax first, okay? To make it more useful so let's draw a simple graph here on this side we have the quantity or output producer and here we have the price and other stuff now let's first draw this demand function okay the intercept is here price intercept is here 20 so our demand function will look like this this is our demand function at equilibrium we know that okay so at equilibrium at equilibrium equilibrium we know mana plus will produce where it is marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost okay uh, to find the marginal revenue, we first need to find out the total revenue. And total revenue we know is simply equal to price into output. Okay, so price function is 20 minus Q, 20 minus Q. To this we multiply Q. Okay, this denotes the P, this is our Q. That gives us total revenue as 20 Q minus Q square this is the total revenue of the monopolist now the marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue function with respect to output that means we take the derivative of this function with respect to q derivative of q is 1 so we are left with 20 here and derivative of q square is 2q by power function rule simple okay now we equate marginal revenue with marginal cost before the imposition of tax, okay? So marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost implies, this is our marginal revenue and let me write it here, 20 minus 2Q should be equal to the marginal cost which is being given us as 3. Solving for Q here, so that gives us 2Q is equal to uh, 20 minus 3 comes out to be 17 which gives us Q is equal to 17 upon 2 comes out to be so that is 8.5 okay so that is 8.5 okay this is our demand function and we got the marginal revenue function this okay 20 minus 2Q and let's draw here marginal revenue function also so this is our marginal revenue function okay and what is our marginal cost marginal cost is 3 and let's draw the marginal cost let us say it is here okay this is our marginal cost function okay we know at equilibrium marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost that means this is our marginal revenue function it should be equal to marginal cost and output producer is 8.5 okay 8.5 and we can find other stuff here also that is the equilibrium price okay so the price that will be imposed will be equal to simply p is equal to 20 minus the output producer that is 8.5 and this comes out to be equilibrium price is 11.5 okay 
uh, this stuff has nothing to do with the question i'm just explaining what is our price here that's 11.5 okay this scenario is before the imposition of tax now when tax is being imposed okay when uh, you know tax is being imposed as uh, one dollar per unit what happens to our marginal cost that means the marginal cost function of the monopolist will shift up that means initially our marginal cost was three plus we will add uh, the per unit tax that is one that gives us the marginal cost of four okay so marginal cost function will sh shift leftwards or upwards here so let us say this is for new marginal cost okay marginal cost with tax okay now again uh, equilibrium requires okay equilibrium requires that our marginal revenue should be equal to the new marginal cost with tax okay so our marginal revenue function is 20 minus 2q let's write it here 20 minus 2q and our new marginal cost is now four dollar now equating again so this gives us 2q is equal to 16 which implies our equilibrium output will be equal to uh, 16 upon 2 comes out to be 8 okay so equilibrium output came out to be 8 so you can see here this is our marginal cost this is marginal revenue so intersection of these two gives us the equilibrium level of output is 8 and corresponding to this we can also see the price okay and the price will be equal to so uh, price will be equal to 20 minus uh, q q is 8 this time that means price that will be you know set up by the monopolist will be equal to 12 okay so here we have 12 and we can easily see from the graph that when the per unit you know tax has been imposed on the monopolist the output has reduced from 8.5 to 8 and price has increased from 11.5 to 12 okay so the question was about uh, the optimal output that the monopolist will produce okay with the imposition of per unit tax and it should be equal to this okay so i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you